Welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're going to be crocheting these adorable coffin coasters or coffin garland. This can be strung into a bunting or used as spooky coasters for Halloween decor. This video is a visual tutorial to go along with the written pattern, which can be found on my blog. I'll post a link to that in the description below. We're going to be using worsted weight number four yarn with a size G or four millimeter crochet hook. We'll also be using some scissors, a tapestry needle, some embroidery floss, and if you like to use stitch markers, that is an option as well. So let's get started on these adorable tiny little coffins. To begin, we'll place a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to chain five chain stitches. For row one, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. That'll be a total of four stitches for this row. At the end of each row, we're going to chain one. So I may or may not repeat that at the end of every row. Just know that you always chain one before you turn. So here's that chain one and turn. Row two, we're going to increase in the first and the last stitch. So we're going to place two single crochet in that first stitch. So that's our increase. And then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. And then increase again here at the end. So place two more single crochet. And that makes six stitches for row two. Row three, we're going to increase in the first stitch. Whoops. Let's try this again. Increase. Then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. and increase again in that last stitch for a total of eight stitches for row three. So here's that increase. Chain one and turn. And row four for our last increase, we're gonna increase in that first stitch, single crochet in the next six stitches and then increase again in that last stitch for a total of 10 stitches for row four. For row five, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across. So that'll be a total of 10 stitches for row five. Row six, we're going to decrease in the first two stitches. So that's gonna be insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop, and then pull through all three loops. So that's our decrease. And then we're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches for a total of nine stitches for row six.
Row seven, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across for a total of nine stitches. Row eight, we're gonna single crochet in the first seven stitches and then decrease in the last stitch. So we're gonna single crochet in the first seven. Six and seven, we should have two stitches left and we're going to decrease those two into one for a total of eight stitches for row eight. For row nine, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across for a total of eight stitches. For row 10, we're going to decrease and then single crochet in the next six stitches. So here we're gonna decrease and then single crochet in the next six stitches for a total of seven stitches. For row 11, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across for a total of seven stitches. For row 12, we're gonna single crochet in the first five stitches and then decrease at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and single crochet in those first five stitches. And then decrease for a total of six stitches for row 12. For row 13, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch across for a total of six stitches. For row 14, we're going to decrease and then single crochet in the next four stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and decrease. And single crochet in the next four stitches for a total of five stitches for row 14. Row 15, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across for a total of five stitches. Row 16, we're going to single crochet in the first three stitches and then decrease. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet in those first three. and then decrease for a total of four stitches for row 16. Row 17 is our last row. We're just gonna single crochet in each stitch. So that's gonna be four single crochet. And then we're going to chain one and that ends the base of our coffin. To clean up these edges, we're going to go around the border with a round of single crochet. The only exception to the single crochet is two chain ones at the bottom, and then all four corners of the top will have a chain one, single crochet, chain one, 
chain one, single crochet, chain one, and then repeat on the other two corners. I'm gonna go through this with you step by step. Here we're starting at the chain one from the end of row 17. We're just gonna turn left and begin single crocheting down this left side. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate your support so much and it allows me to continue creating these free videos for you. So we're coming up here on the first corner. So right before that stitch, we're going to chain one insert into the corner, single crochet, chain one, and then continue single crocheting until the next corner. So here's our last stitch before the top corner. So we're gonna chain one, insert the hook into the corner, single crochet, and chain one. And we're gonna single crochet until the other side of the corner. I'm trying to decide where the corner is. So chain one, single crochet, chain one, continue single crocheting. Here's our next corner. We're gonna chain one, single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet back down the other side until we reach that bottom corner. It may be helpful to mark all of the corners with stitch markers before you start the border, just so you can see where they are when you get to them. So here we are at this bottom corner. I'm going to chain one and then I only have three stitches until we get to the beginning of this border that we started. So here is my third stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then tie off with a long enough tail that I can weave in these ends. To weave in the ends, we're just going to grab a tapestry needle and thread the end towards the back side. So to make this look squared off, I'm going to insert the hook into this corner and pull it towards the back. Then flip it over and we're going to weave in this end. So I love to weave in the ends by running through several stitches in one direction. turning the work around and skipping one stitch and going back through those same stitches. And then we'll just snip off the excess yarn as close to the work as possible. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And 
and you're welcome to stop here without the cross. This makes a perfect coaster or bunting as is if you don't want to add a cross. See how I can just pop my coffee mug right on top of there. Probably should reheat that. But if you'd like to add the cross, we're just going to take a little bit of embroidery floss. I have some black on hand and I'm gonna use my same tapestry needle to stitch on a cute little cross in the center of our coffin. How cute is that? So now I'm just gonna tie a double or triple knot here on the back side before trimming off any of the excess yarn. And here is our completed cute little purple coffin. These really would be absolutely adorable strung together and hanging on a fireplace or over a buffet or also as just cute little table decor coasters. I hope you enjoyed crocheting with me today. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you very soon with another fun tutorial.